Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had a very good night's sleep and I'm home with the with my man and uh, my little monster. She's been so naughty. She's been very angry with me because I've been away all weekend. So she's been like, she's been super obnoxious today. And um, still like the cutest thing I know in the world. Um, so this weekend I, I was uh, co-teaching at the yoga retreat. It was amazing. Um, Apparently they thought that my yoga was a bit hardcore. My friend who had the retreat, she's doing medical yoga, which is a much slower and a very different focus from, you know, the Hatha Ashtanga school that I'm from. But it was amazing. It was so much fun. It was so many fantastic people that I felt like enormously grateful to have, you know, had the, um, the pleasure of uh, instructing and, and helping out in one way or another. I was also giving this lecture and it went really well. I, uh, of course, there's with that too is a work in progress. It's the first time I did it in that subject, uh, which was escapism. Uh, it's a subject I've been wanting to to lecture about for a very long time, and um, and it was um, it was cool. We got like a conversation going, and uh, I feel very grateful that I got to. Um, push my limits and you know try it out uh, I feel like you know addiction is something that I've spoken about a lot and I feel quite confident in that and I can always go to my own experience and everything that I've you know experienced through the 12-step program and the uh, recovery the process whereas like escapism is much broader and um, and uh, to be honest a bit more scary to to speak about but it, it went well and everyone was really engaged and and generous you know with sharing you know their own stories so i'm very grateful that i i got to try it in such a protected you know a space uh but more than anything I, I feel super you know inspired to start teaching you know in real life again because it's been a while since i've had regular classes and i feel like i'm you know i'm really like craving to teach in in a class where I can adjust and you know feel the energy of the people and see my see my clients so that was like a, a reawakening with that I haven't had that inspiration in, in a few years um, what else I'm very grateful for for my my boyfriend is amazing and we've decided that during COVID-19 we're going to do uh, two classes of 75 minutes of yoga together every week. Oh my god. We have like uh, lemon trees inside <laughs> and, and there's so much fruit falling down from them <laughs> uh, because you know we took them inside which means that they think it's spring but it's not spring it's it's winter but it's much warmer inside here than it was outside. So they think it's it's summertime and there's like you know so many fruits on the trees um so what else am i grateful for i'm obviously super grateful for penny she's um she's uh, such a ray of light in, in my life and uh yeah she, she's been so like she's been biting me two times today not that i've started to bleed but like kind of we've been like fighting you know and she's trying to take the power but she can forget about that. She's a little doggy. You should know that you're a little doggy. Yes, I love you, baby. I love you, baby doggy. Okay, we're going to do some yoga. So get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes. Focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Observe your breathing and where it's located in your body. What are you doing? Okay, now we might have another fight. I don't know what she's eating. What do you have in there? She, I mean, she eats everything. And when she sees that I see that she's eating something that she's not allowed, she like swallows. Like, you know, I could be super big. I thought she was gonna um, suff suff suffocate today. And uh, my heart was like, like oh, how do you do Hamlish on a dog you know um, okay observe your breathing mm. 
we're gonna start taking control over our breath. So, on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Penny! Oh, oh great, huh? That's not for you. That's not for you. Yeah, that's a fruit, don't worry. Yeah? Enjoy. So on every inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding and when the belly is like full, your chest comes after. And on the exhalation, let the chest come down and then drag your belly button towards the spine. Beautiful. We're gonna come back to this breathing eventually, but first we're gonna do the breath of fire and we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast. In here to start. Beautiful. We are going to do a hip roll. Inhale forward. Exit back. Switch direction. We're gonna do a shoulders roll on the inhalation, come up and back, on the exhalation, down and forward. We're going to switch direction. Okay. 
Penny? Penny, komm hier, Tänkling. Komm hier, Mama. We're gonna do a neck roll and it's a very fragile area, so be very, very careful when you roll your neck. On the inhalation, we're gonna come back. On the exhalation, fall. Oh, she wants to go up to the bed. Penny, come in. Now she saw her own mirror. Penny, shh. Penny, come in. Come in. Come in. Continue with your neck roll. I'm gonna switch direction. Penny, Penny come in. Come in. Come in, Clean. Penny, shh. Okay. You continue with your neck roll. I'll be back in a second. Come in. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> obnoxious, I told you. Huh? I told you she was obnoxious. Just continue with your neck roll. Beautiful. We're gonna we're gonna actually finish today. It's very very like short class of asanas, but um, just ground yourself. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye, looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you can spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and there is nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I don't know. Oh, there is something wrong with my Shanti at the moment. We're going to place our palms in front of our foreheads for us to think, think good what's through the day. To your mouth you speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. When she's like finally cooling down, I'm moving. Sorry baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, lovers, I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to go out there and give. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.